My Hero Academia, 10 anime characters Achiko would be friends with. Achiko Yuraraka is a friendly upbeat girl who enjoys having a large social circle in My Hero Academia. Who should be her new bestie? My Hero Academia has an ensemble cast mainly focused on Izuku Midoriya and his heroic classmates at the U. A. School. Izuku is a friendly boy who can get along with just about anyone, and he quickly befriended the zero gravity girl, Achiko Yuraraka. Achiko soon cultivated a healthy social circle of her own. Tsuyu Azui the frog girl and Mina Ashido are among Achiko's best friends, and she also gets along with Nijai or Heido during their internships together. If Achiko had the chance, she would befriend many characters from other anime series too, typically choosing people who have similar personalities and perhaps even heroic tendencies. Who should Achiko add to her social life? She might find her new bestie before long. 10. Orihime Inoue is a hero, to Bleach. Orihime Inoue is a support hero in Bleach, and even if she vastly prefers peace over war, she's no pushover. Orihime has spiritual gifts and can use them to shield her friends from harm or heal their injuries. And she'll bravely stand up to bullies like Okuyora. Achiko would deeply admire Orihime's heroic spirit and abilities, and the two girls would quickly bond over common interests and spend quality time together. Achiko would also be amused by Orihime's truly unique cooking style. 9. Achiko would like Winry Rock Bell, 2 Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood. As a whole, Achiko would have the easiest time befriending other brave, heroic anime girls around her age. And that includes Winry Rock Bell the Mechanic. Winry is even less of a fighter than Orihime Inoue, but she has a strong personality and clear convictions. Winry is Edward's automail mechanic. And she cheers him on while also worrying that Ed will get himself badly hurt one of these days. Winry's character was truly tested when she confronted Scar, her parents' killer. And like a true hero, she avoided shedding blood and learned to eventually forgive him. Achiko would certainly want to meet someone like Winry. 8. Achiko would see Toru Honda as a pacifist hero fruits basket. Toru Honda is a hero of the heart, and she has learned many vital lessons about love, life, and hope from her single mother. Kyoko Honda Despite losing both parents, Toru's spirits remain strong, and she lends her strength to each of the somas to heal their wounded hearts. Toru will gladly stand up to bullies such as Akito. And she can also handle an angry or angsty person to coax out their true selves. Toru is also friendly, charming, and easygoing, and Achiko would get along easily with her. They would have great fun exploring the town together. 7. Naoya Nifuji is such a cinnamon roll wotakoi, love is hard for otaku. Naoya Nifuji is a bit older than Achiko, being a 19-year-old in college, but he has a gentle and warm personality that Achiko would like. And he has a distinctly innocent and slightly naive side to him, too. Achiko would find plenty of overlap with him. Naoya is no hero, but he would love to hear stories of Achiko's adventures as a pro hero in training. And cheer her on as a good friend. And, of course, he would offer her a free coffee every time she visited his workplace. It's the least he can do to repay her for protecting society from villains. 6. Princess Shuna is a bit like Achiko herself that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Princess Shuna is one of the few surviving ogres, and she and the others pledged their loyalty to Remuru Tempest in his new nation. Shuna doesn't often fight, but recent episodes prove that she is a fine mage in battle, capable of taking on Clayman's minions and winning. Her big brother, Benimaru, must be very proud. Shuna is tougher than she looks, and she can keep rowdy troublemakers in line, almost like a hero breaking up street scuffles, 
but she is also kind and gentle. Shuna has a lot of fun dressing up Rimuru or hosting traditional ceremonies. Enjoying the pleasant side of life. Achiko would gladly join the festivities. 5. Achiko would show Azazel Ameri how to enjoy the little things welcome to Demon School, Iromakuan. Azazel Ameri is the school council president at Babel's, and she takes her duties seriously for the benefit of every student. She is also a formidable fighter, using her bloodline ability to boost her power so long as she has faith in herself. That's almost like a pro hero's quirk. Achiko would recognize Ameri as a great person who simply needs to relax a little and savor the little things in life. And Achiko would happily take Ameri out for a fun day and show her how to be an ordinary girl for a few hours. Ameri would be grateful for the paradigm shift and repay Achiko with a favor or two as an influential young demon. 4. Yuki Yoshikawa is fun to be around Horamiya. Izumi Miyamura is potential boyfriend material for Achiko, and Kyoko Hori would be a decent friend for her, but Achiko would befriend Yuki Yoshikawa first. An energetic and upbeat girl who never fails to find the fun in everything. She's a lively one. Yuki may not be a hero, but she knows how to stand up for what's right, and she is slowly building up the courage to act on her true feelings. Achiko, as her new friend, would encourage her to speak up and aim for what she truly desires. Yuki needs a friend like her. 3. Achiko would enjoy Yatsuba Nakano's lively personality the quintessential quintuplets. Achiko enjoys having lively, upbeat friends like Mina Ashido and Toru Hagakure in her life. So she would also get along wonderfully with Yatsuba Nakano, though she would at least be on polite terms with all five sisters. But Yatsuba would be her favorite. Yatsuba acts a lot like Mina and Toru. An energetic and friendly young lady who can enjoy just about anything except studying. Fortunately, she has Futaro to tutor her, and during her time off, she can hang out with Achiko. Her new BFF. 2. Emilia would enjoy Achiko's company Re Zero. Emilia doesn't have many friends, since most of her friends and family have been frozen, and she has been widely ostracized for being a half elf associated with witches. She does have Puck for a friend, though, and Roswell Mathers supports her. She later found love with Subaru, who accepted her despite her baggage and hardships. Emilia could use a few more friends. And Achiko Yurarika is just what she needs. The two of them could spend many happy hours wandering the capital city's markets and entertainment districts together, and Emila could finally feel like an ordinary girl without a care in the world. 1. Hina Tachibana has the heart of a hero Tokyo Revengers. Hina Tachibana is another anime character who, despite having no superpower or formal combat training, is a true hero at heart. Hina is happiest when everyone is at peace and gets along, but if delinquents such as Mikey, Draken, or Kazutora are stirring up trouble, she won't stand idly by. Hina bravely stood up for Takemaki more than once against bullies. And Takemaki is deeply grateful. Achiko would recognize Hina as a folk hero and befriend her at once, and perhaps give her some gunhead training, just in case. The two girls would also bond over having similar personalities and worldviews.